Hey guys, um, we're in a forest now. <laughs> uh, it's really nice in here. It's a bit. It's a really hot day today. Yeah, it's so like 32 we've degrees under the canopy. Yeah, for a bit of relief. It's really yeah, nice. It's, it's a redwood red forest. Oh yeah. Thanks for letting me talk, Kat. Sorry, yeah, no, you go. <laughs> Kat, I can't. I can't talk this one. You talk this one. It seems to stop talking. I've got loads yep, of yep, yep. Um, so we're doing a little one-hour walk around the redwood forest. Mm -hmm. um, there's also like a treetop walk, isn't there? But we're not doing that one. We're not doing that one. We've just looked at our bank balance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've just had a bit of a, a scary moment. We're getting very much to the end of our uh, holiday Money. budget. <laughs> well, yeah. I think we finished our holiday budget about a, a month and a half ago. ago. <laughs> A few minutes of manic paddling. It's annoying because the, the water looks really flat, but we've just come from that island, which you can see there, which is Donut Island. Also, look at how overcast it is. We didn't sign up for this. Um, and there's some nice penguins again up this tree. I've instructed my driver to uh, take me closer, but he's paddling a bit slow. We're going to stop off at this beach in a sec and have some lunch and chill out. I'll take some pictures when I um, get closer. Hang on. That's as close as we can get because there's a load of coral in the water. Yeah, I'm convinced they're penguins. They look identical. You try to prove me wrong. Also, I should say, just whilst I think about it, we've been quite quiet on the vlogs for a couple of days. Um, not that you'll have realised because I'll have edited them together. Um, so it all looks like one continuous blur, but we've had about two days where I've not really videoed anything. We've gone from, I don't know when the last time would have been. Before White Tapu? It was the, no it wasn't, no, I filmed in White Tapu. Oh did you? Was that yesterday? No, I think before yesterday. Day before yesterday, so it was only yesterday that we didn't. So we went up to Taranga, um, had, just had a day by the beach, just chilled. Um, yeah, really, really nice. It's It has been really hot until today and tomorrow is going to be a bit cloudy. Um, but yeah, it's been absolutely beautiful. Um, and we were going to go up to the Northland, which is like the bit, so you've got the north of North Island, New Zealand. You've got Auckland at the top. I'll do it this way. Auckland at the top and then you've got the Northlands above that. So we were going to go up there. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful, but we've just not quite got long enough. We've got a week left. So it's not quite long enough to do all of that properly. Um, we could do it, but it would mean about three hours of driving at least every single day. Look how hard he's working. Um, so it just didn't quite feel... Is it raining? I think it's raining. No, it is. Um, yeah, it didn't quite feel worth it. So and it gives us something to look forward to when we get back. Um, sorry, in the future we can spend a whole holiday doing the Northland properly. Uh, we're doing Bay, Bay of Islands and stuff, so we're just going to spend longer in sort of Coromandel area, which is at the top of the North Island. Just have a week of sort of chilling out, decompressing. Surprisingly, we are quite tired, even though we've been on holiday for six, seven, seven weeks, seven of eight weeks. So we're just going to chill out, top of our tans before we go back to reality and yeah take it easy do more some uh, more freedom camping as well so that um make the most of the van 
and that's when we've generally had the best nights it's when we've been freedom camping so yeah for now just chilling on the sea <laughs> horizontal scully as always <laughs> walk again. Look at these little collies that I found. Nice little border collies. Aren't they good? Hey boys. <laughs> They're goats. <laughs> yeah. Oh sorry. I don't want to offend you. We're going down to um, Gemstone Bay now. Um, and then after that we're going to a place called the Cathedral Cove. It's only a little um, it's only a quick a walk. Um, but yes, it'd be nice. We've got a bit of clouds and a bit of rain to look forward to today as well. Um, a bit cooler. Yeah, you know. We've made it. We made it about an hour and a bit ago. <laughs> Push me off the top. <laughs> and I waited until um, it's, it's now raining on the beach. Um, so I waited until now to film. It's a very beautiful place. So, yeah, big rain clouds getting wet. Ooh. and big um, big waves and stuff nice big rock and then the cave is over there um, I might walk back through it on the way back not sure is it a car because Jake lost my flip flops <laughs> I'm going to really tease him about this yeah. Jake's pretending to read his book he's pretending to get a like, quarter of the way through it he's doing very well um, <laughs> And then we're gonna walk back, I think, and get a cat of coffee. It's raining, so we're going to um, exit. But I thought I would show you this cove first. So yeah, let's back onto the beach. Oh, isn't it lush? So it's this interesting rock formation. That's the cathedral cove part of it. So we managed to get a really nice couple of photos by setting up the tripod and I've got a little remote on the tripod as well so um managed to get some decent photos before those people arrived which was good yeah it's, it's a beautiful view then there is a beach on the other side but you've got to be really careful to run through the sea when the tide's out really really quickly to get there yeah really cool place Sorry if it is. Um, and as I said before, we just sort of winded down, going to like beachier places and stuff. We didn't really know what was here other than a nice ish looking free campground, which is few and far between at the moment. But we found such a nice long beach. So, where we're saying it's like a peninsula, um, so where we are is like the boat ramp on the one side. But how quiet the beach is. We must be like the only far out. It's about 4pm um, so it's not too hot now either. Um, it's just beautiful. Absolutely nice. Just had a coffee. Well I've had nice coffee. Jake's had a beer. Um, we just had a little on the beach for some nice... Oh look at that! Some really nice shells. out where the local shower is so that we can have a shower tonight. Um, it's proper campsite life. Um, we're trying to conserve water, sorry, we're trying to conserve water because we're trying to free camp for as long as we can. Um, we're on, 18 days. 
yeah, we've got seven available. Um, but the way the camper van works, you've got to drive to power it up. But if you're not doing enough driving, and if you're using more energy than you're powering up, you've got to go to the power campsite and like charge it up overnight. But we've done enough driving so far to do two. I reckon we could do three nights free camping, and then we'll probably need to find a campground to fill up water and stuff. Um, but you get so much more beautiful places and just like more places with this on your doorstep yeah. and fewer people and nicer people and it's free and it's free yeah yeah crucially it's free um feeling frugal frugal fab i think it is well we found i was saying it's got gold on the top of it gold we are really gold but wow Surely that's not real gold. No. Is it that? I think that's been painted. Is this interesting content for anyone? <laughs> not sure. Here's 30 seconds of shells. Look at it. Shiny. We found a star. Good morning. We thought we would get up in time for sunrise on the beach we've arrived in well i suppose the sun is behind that mountain isn't it mm. so it's probably risen for everybody else <sighs> poor jacob my alarm went off and then i was like right out of bed just get in the front cab we'll drive over to the um other side of the peninsula i'm gonna make um uh, pancakes and maybe eat them on the beach maybe eat them up there it's lush. There's not many people about it either. There's a man and his dog. Lovely. This morning to a place called New Chums Beach. Um, so my sun's not frowning at you. Um, so it's a very, very secluded beach. It's so many hard to get to, you can't get to it by car, only by foot. And it's like an hour long walk. And the start of our walk is along this. Oh god, oh there's flies. Oh, I haven't seen them. Whoop. That's revolting. Um, Access fire land. There's no facilities there whatsoever, but that means there's no like shops or anything. So yeah, should be a lovely walk. I'm excited. We've arrived. So beautiful. And look, someone's made this little den. How cute is that? So I know where we're sleeping tonight if we get mm. stuck here for whatever reason. And there's one other couple on this beach. Other than that, we've got it all to ourselves. Pretty much paradise. Wow, we've just done some proper like rock climbing. And this is the view at the top. It's pretty high. Pretty solo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's El Dorado, whatever that <laughs> wall was. El Cap. El Cap. Um, I would stand on that rock and get a beautiful view, but so that's the beach that we were just on. How stunning. There's loads of like little islands and peninsulas and stuff out. Yeah. Ah, oh, lush. David Cattenborough's back. There's a little baby birdie. They're called dotterels and they're endangered. Many of them, but there's a little baby one here. I'll oh, see, I won't get too close. Hello. Oh. Very cute, and there's another little baby down the road. Yay! New Zealand is just full of all of these amazing little stop offs. This is just like a roadside stop. 
on the way from one place to another. It's stunning. Hello, my loves. <laughs> we have travelled from, so after spending a few days in the northeast of the North Island, which is like beachy, it's where the um, Kiwis go to holiday apparently. Um, we are now headed along west, um, yeah, west and down. So we're sort of south of Auckland now. Um, just for a bit of a change, we kept looking at um, lists of the top few things to do in New Zealand to share that we've like ticked off everything. And the only thing that was like a big attraction that we hadn't done was go to Bridal Veil Falls. Yeah. Yes. Which is a big impressive waterfall. Um, and so, it was by a nice coastal town as well, wasn't it? It was by yes. uh, Raglan, which is like a surfing place. Yeah, they say it's supposed to be like um, Byron Bay in Australia. So just for a bit of a I think we've got ants in our pants now because we've been moving around so long. We spent like two days in Coromandel, which is the northeast or like northern bit. Um, I think we've just got ants in our pants, haven't we? I think I was getting a little bit bored of how raw it was because it was really beautiful, but then there wasn't, there wasn't like any anything happening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, like, no, there was no like towns or bars or yeah. restaurants or shops or anything. Um, and it was difficult to camp in. Yes, that was the thing. They're really funny with campers. Like everywhere is like, do not camp here. And any anywhere that you could have a, like a freedom campsite. Yeah, freedom like... camping was like, oh, you can only fit three vehicles here, and it's the only one in town. So if that one was full, you'd have to drive another half hour minimum mm. to go onto the next campsite. And then if that one was full, um... and then suddenly you're an hour away from where you want to be. Yeah, and you've got to be anywhere by two o'clock otherwise they're all full but then that means that you're spending your whole day just driving around trying to find a car park you yeah. can't use the best part of the day to actually explore yeah. and stuff so lovely lovely place but yeah it was beautiful <laughs> yeah so we've come down to the west coast and then because we need to make our way up to Auckland in the next few days anyway I think we've got today and three more days before we need to be in Auckland yeah well today and two more days the third day we're put, taking the caravan back aren't we yeah pretty early actually yeah. so yeah two and a half days left of the camper van so sad um i'm gonna really miss the van i genuinely think i'm gonna shed a tear when we get rid of it it's literally like our home um and as much as i'm getting sick of like the novelty is kind of wearing off of the new zealand roads and the fact that they're all wiggly wiggly in up hills and down hills and stuff i'm still yeah massively gonna miss it uh, I'm just going to stop taking photos because the lighting is really nice yeah. here. One sec. Look at how nice this looks. It's just the light and the um. What's well, this? Is like the forest that we're walking through. Beautiful. Uh -huh, he's trying out his photography skills. Here's our lovely waterfall. Oh, you can see the rainbow. Wow. So it drops 55 meters. Five meters. It's quite difficult to fit you all in. The phone automatically zooms. Oh, my eyes recognize it for water. Oh, really? Very cool rock as well. Looks like a Lego rock from here. Or like one of those 3D printed ones. That's mad actually. What's that from? our last evening with Wendy. I don't know if we've referred to her as Wendy but because that's the name of the rental company we're calling her Wendy. But yeah we've done all the packing. I did a um, time lapse earlier so you want to see us packing it up. But all the cupboards are all clean and empty. I mean you didn't see them before but put it in. Oh that's fine. But yeah we've had a good old um, sort out of the van today 
Uh, just a bit of a chill day actually today. We've not really done anything worthwhile. Um, yesterday we were in Raglan. I don't think I filmed. Did I film anything in Raglan? Can you remember? I can't remember Where if I it? did. No. Um, but we were in. It's on the west coast. I did because it was the Bridal Veil Falls. So then we went up to Raglan and it's just like a chilled sort of beachy town. Just had a day on the beach and just chilled out there. I didn't really do anything too interesting. Just topped up tans and yeah, I'm re reading a really, really good book. So I'm not really doing anything other than reading. It's the, um, the sequel to Handmaid's Tale. It's really, really good. Um, and then we're heading to Auckland tomorrow, taking the van back and then yeah, driving up to Auckland and having a couple of days there before we fly home. It's nearly the end of our adventure. We're very, very, very sad about it. Yeah. Hello everybody. We have been very quiet on the old video, but I thought I would finish it whilst we're here. Uh, we're in Auckland. <laughs> I <laughs> said Adelaide. We're in Auckland. Um, it's our last day. We're flying tonight. Um, we arrived here two days ago. I've not actually filmed anything whilst we've been here. I've barely taken any photos either. We've just been chilling out hmm. and in a bit of <laughs> oh, so many flies here um we've been in a bit of a funk actually like yesterday we were just really sad um sad that we're leaving and just been i think exploring cities is very different it's it's not so much like you arrive somewhere you take a picture or a video of the pretty attractions it's more just like we've been eating and drinking our way around the city pretty much um but yeah so i thought we we've just been having a little well, we're currently in a park waiting till a burger place opens and then we're going to have a burger and then we're going to pick up our bags ah, and go to the airport. Um, so to pass the time, we've been doing all A to Z and we've been doing all those little memory games. So, <laughs> to Australia. <laughs> no. Oh, wait, yeah. I went travelling and I've been to... Are we going to do it one yeah, at a we'll time? time? Right. I went travelling and I went to... That? Australia, Byron, Coromandel, Douglas, Port Douglas, <laughs> Eden, Jesus, Mount Eden. Mount Eden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if I'm clever enough, I'll try to put photos up of each place um, that we where we were. If I took a photo, right. what was yours? Eden, Mount Eden, Franz Joseph Glacier, Glenarchy, Hast Pass, Isthmus Peak. Oh, we couldn't think of one for Jay. <laughs> K Road, Karunga Harpy Road. Lou with a view. Which is in Malula Bar. <laughs> Which is out. Uh, Noosa Heads. Opera House. <laughs> Perth. Q, Queenstown. Rotorua. Surface Paradise. Tarongariro Alpine Crossing. Just Tongariro. Tong. What did I say? Tarongaroo. Tongariro. Yeah. Eat my flies. You was, we couldn't do with you on so we've got a UNESCO World Heritage Site. <laughs> Big volcanoes. <laughs> the W was Wanaka, but we also went to Waiatapu, went to Wangarai, went to Wanganui, went to... They're big on the W's here. Big, love it. Love a bit of W. <laughs> um, w, X, we didn't have one for X. Y was yonder, which is an amazing yeah. place in Queenstown. In Queenstown, yeah. And Z is the best trip ever. The best trip. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think we've got a Z either. We didn't even go to a single. Oh God, so many flies. Uh, we didn't go to a single zoo, so we can't say a zoo. We love yeah, animals. we just love animals. Um, and we don't want to see them in zoos. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, now our plan is to go get a. Well, we've got half an hour to kill still. Um, and then. And then going to go have a burger, nice veggie burger, um, and then we're going to Jay's X and Z burger for last meal. Oh, <laughs> that was really bad. Yeah, terrible. Um, what are we going to? What burger place are we going to? Wise boys. Wise boys. That's W. Vegan um, yeah, and I guess I might film something on the way home. I'd likely. So yeah, peace out.